So I was thinking, I'm like, what kind of video am I going to do? And I realized you guys don't know anything about me. You guys don't know much other than I'm transgender and I'm a makeup artist and I like food, I guess. That's all you guys really know. So For about three weeks because I had surgery. I had a really huge life-changing surgery, which involved five procedures, all of which related to me being transgender and when I tell you I am so happy right now having gone through it and with the results. Binary, um, you know, genderqueer, all of that. I hope you guys know that I use this platform to educate and I really, really enjoy doing so. I'm transgender. Welcome to my channel. Talking about this pretty much forever on my channel. I've mentioned it so many times, especially in my transgender Q&A videos, but basically facial feminization surgery is when they go in and make tiny little tweaks on your face to make it a little bit more feminine. Yes, yo girl has been a girl for a whole year. I remember just yesterday I came out to my parents about me being transgender. Time flies and it's crazy. I've been taking spironolactone, which is a testosterone blocker, and estrogen, which is the estrogen that is going into my body. And here's my replacement pill, estrogen. That is what is causing me to go through a second puberty. So both these pills together make me, made me into the woman that I am today. The dosage of spironolactone that I'm on is 100 milligrams. Mine, it came in one pill form. Usually people have to take like four 25 milligrams or 250 milligrams, but mine just for some reason comes in the whole 100 milligram. As for the estrogen, I take six milligrams of it a day. Now that is the highest dosage of estrogen that you can be on, that your doctor can give you. I started fairly high on estrogen. I don't know why my doctor did. I used to get bullied when I was younger in school for having a really girly voice and for looking like a girl. <coughs> I was born a boy. You guys probably already know that. I have the worst memory when it comes to names. I am a visual person so I can remember your face, but when it comes to names, uh-uh. So from top to bottom, what I had done is the following. My hairline lowered, my eyebrows raised up a bit, I had a mini eyebrow lift. I also had a brow ridge shaving or reduction. So biological males have a ridge right here that is more prominent. I mean, everyone has a bit of a brow ridge, male or female, but in males it is a lot more pronounced. And also, eyebrows are closer to the eyeball for biological males, so that's why I raised the eyebrows a bit. And then as far as my nose, it was a bit bulky before. It had a hump at the top and it went a little bit low. It was just a little too big and masculine and so we definitely did slope it out. We pinched it just a little bit and made it smaller.
I'm so happy you guys got to watch the full journey of my facial feminization surgery. And just to bring everything down, because I know I probably didn't see it in the video, what I had done was a brow bone shave, a hairline lowering, um, a jaw shave and muscle shave and lipo or whatever, and then also a nose job as well. Honestly, when you had you guys told boy, you thought, I, I, yeah, honestly, right? I was like, I thought you were a trick female, honey. Once you don't point it out, I mean, I'm yeah. the type of guy, once you point it into my visibility, it's like, oh crap, now I can't turn it off. There's, yeah, so like me so being transgender is like, yeah, that like, that's not a big deal. Like, yeah. good or like, that's cool, you know? Like, if that's you, that's you. Like, that's cool. Like, I respect it. Does it even shock you that I'm like transgender? Yeah, no, yeah. It's... Did you know? I actually didn't. <laughs> <laughs> my older brother is actually a transgender. And I fully respect him to the fullest. You know, I love him to death. Like, did you know I was transgender? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, no, I didn't know that. And yeah, I, I, I don't make me the, those questions. Oh, you look beautiful, so. Thank you so much. Huh? My skin has been beautiful ever since, so. Thank God about that. My skin was never bad before, so I think that's what's made it even better because I've never really had, like, bad acne. So I think just adding the hormone basically was a plus for me. This year, living my life as a woman has been very bittersweet. Now, of course, you know, I'm happy about just, oh, I can wear the stuff I want to wear in terms of hair and clothes. You know, I am happy about that and just living my life as a female, you know, but it has does have its obstacles. And like 30 times a day. Do you want to grow up to be like them? Mom says I might grow up to be the president. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What would you change about the world if you were president? Um, that chance people be free and go to the bathroom they want to go to. Yes, what's up? Yes, my baby. This is Maddie. Yeah. She's 12. <laughs> She's an energetic kid. She likes school. She <laughs> likes church. <laughs> She's trans. So why are you like coming up to the roof? Uh, it's relaxing, comfortable, and beautiful because I can see the sunset, my pond, my Yamal's house, and a long ways down in the highway to see if people are coming on my road, uh -huh. and good Wi Fi. This. A lot of people seem to think that you're different from other 12 year old girls. Why do you think they think that? Everyone's different, no one's the same. We're all different and unique and special in our own way. Do you feel like this is a thing where kids get it and adults don't get it? Adults, some of those adults out there, they do get it, but they don't support it. And that's their choice. They can be hateful and rude about it. My name's Princess um, Polly. I even have a book um, of my boy princess. Why do you like that book? Well, it's about a boy who likes to be a princess. Does this story remind you of your story at all? Well, um, when mom thought I was a boy and dressed me like a boy, I did not like it. So I, and I already thought she um, knew I was a girl, she, but she didn't know. So I had to tell her when I was old enough to say it. What did you say? I said, um, well, I told her, Mom, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. That's pretty brave. I'm transgender. Me being transgender, I'm transgender. It's my parents about me being transgender.